Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my Scalpy building video. This video is going to cover placement of all your electronics and stuff inside the plane so you can cut out the foam inserts where you want them. I was hoping to use the servo, um, servo bays that were already created, but it turns out that they're going to be too close to uh, the edge of where the elevon is going to be, and I want them to be into the elevon a little bit. The arms are also going to connect from the top instead of through the bottom here. So hopefully before you start building, you've already figured out what you want to do with your beam, whether you want it to be a fast, uh, low flyer, maybe you want to do some high altitude cruising, whatever it is, you've got to figure out what motor and batteries and setup you want for it. Now myself, one of the other changes I made is I'm switching to a 1400 kV uh, Turnergy 3536. Uh, motor because the other motor that came with it isn't really going to do what I need for FPV. I placed all the equipment onto the B and kind of balanced it for where I think everything should be. So you can see I'm going to put the servos out here, uh, battery bay is going to be here, my receiver is going to be here, the antenna for the Dragon Link is going to come out, Dragonet OSD is going to go right here along with the GPS, then the video transmitter will be out at this end on the other end of the wing here. So now I'm going to start cutting out some bays. The big important one I'm going to be doing is the battery bay. And for this one, I'm actually going to cut all the way through. And then on the bottom side, I'm going to put some coroplast in and uh, glue that in to cover the bottom. Now for the other ones, I'm going to actually measure how deep I want to go to make sure I'm not going too far into the foam. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is go back to the bottom and I'm going to take my battery bay and I'm going to take an area that's a half an inch all around it. I'm going to mark that off and I'm going to cut a little ledge so that when I uh, put in the coroplast I've got something that I can glue in. Okay, we just glue this in and we're all set, and that's it for our electronics base. 